Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Silent Runner 54 and we're gonna kick off um this Star Wars Episode 1 25th anniversary event with the first level from the Episode 1 video game. Which is the it's the Trade Federation battleship. So just gonna let the credits the opening title roll. This was, um, oh, it was put on PS Plus, um, a couple of months ago actually, I think it was January. Um, I only just got around to playing it, but I did play this game as a kid, obsessively. Um, it was one of the best, at the time, it was one of the best Star Wars games that I'd ever played. Um, so yeah, I remember playing this quite a lot, and so when I read that it was being put on PS Plus, I sort of I got I got really good year again because I'm like oh, I've not played that. It's been twelve twenty five years since I played the game, so it's yeah it's as old as the film, and I remember watching the film in the cinema as well twenty five years ago. So it's it's. Wow, it's a long time. But yeah, I remember obsessively playing this game. So this is the, again, this is the first level. Um, but what we're going to do here, what I'm doing with you, is playing through the story of episode one using a variety of different video games. So we've got the episode 1 video game, we've got two Lego Star Wars games. Um, we'll be tapping into episode 1 racer at some point for the all important pod race. Um, I think we might even jump into Battlefront at some point to do the Battle of Naboo. That, well, that's the classic Battlefront game. Mainly because Battlefront 2, the new, like the, the latest version of the game, it's clone troopers on Naboo, which obviously doesn't, it's before the time of the clone troopers. So it doesn't quite fit in. It kind of breaks the timeline a little bit. But here we go, playing as Obi-Wan, but I familiarise myself with the controls again because they're a bit, um, I don't, I didn't ever play this game with a controller that had sticks, so that's new for me as well, but yeah, it does not look any different to how I remember it, it's exactly how I remember it and I always remember this level the most, this level and the Moss Esper um, level as well, with the two that really stood out to me. Excuse me, but I must be going. The room is filling with poison gas. So TC-14 just lied to us, so we're gonna jump straight into the action. I remember, still, there's stuff in here. Yeah, it's kind of... Yeah. Coming back to me. It's almost like... It's not been 25 years since I last played it. I still remember... Where things are. Um... There's... I think there's a power... Uh, a gun in here, yeah. A blaster. Although chances of using that blaster whilst playing is Obi Wan. Um a slim. So we'll follow Qui Gon this way. Right, a lot I remember a lot of um this is just blocking, it's defending, it's not actually attacking. Because you're getting constantly hit by blaster bolts, it's just quicker and easier to just deflect them back 
rather than actually attack. So I have to get to... I have to open a door. Button I yet control the uh, fiddly. I remember the fiddly bits. Doors open. Let's go. Um, not sure how to get in there. Not sure. Do I need full health anyway? I'm at full health, so door open. The ship's command center is just ahead. And here come the droidicas. run away from them and into the maintenance I think it's a maintenance shaft into the maintenance shaft and this is where we get separated from Qui-Gon uh, this bit I remember there are I think service droids that actually give you an electric shock if you get too close to them might be a bit later on there goes the Republic cruiser blowing up So yeah, they're the little, they're the droids that have an electrical discharge and they give you a shock if you get too close to them. So I've got to navigate around whilst avoiding them as well because it, from what I remember, that electricity does quite a bit of damage. Yeah, it's doing some damage. I'm just going to have to, whoops, yeah they got chopped up there. going to have to just sneak up on them I think and, yeah, avoid. So that button opens a door that I just passed. Why is it gone? Oh no, I'm out. I'm through it, I'm through it. Drop down. Stand off against more droids. I need to find a health pack quick because I'm not going to last much longer. Some of those stray plaster bolts are actually hitting me. So I need, and off the top of my head I can't remember where the, the, um, the health packs are, I think there's some droids down there. Yep. Okay, yep. Ah, uh, there's a health pack, which needs to, please don't die, please don't die, perfect. Ah, there we go, full health. I was cutting it a bit close. So, yep, yeah, this is one bit that's always stuck in my head as well. Talking to the Nemoidian, and he says, Stay away from the power generator. And I always remembered when I wasn't playing the game. Like, when I was just messing around with the game, I used to kill him and then blow up the generator anyway. I mean, you do blow up the generator. I just used to kill him. I must find a way to cut the door's power. No! Don't touch the power generator! There we go. Don't touch the power generator. Don't hurt me. And then we're gonna blow that up. Back onto the lift. And then through this next set of doors. One game that they haven't put on PS Plus yet that I hope they do is Jedi Power Battles because that was the other episode one game that I used to play a lot when it came out. Um, and then I think between um, PlayStation and Xbox 
<clears throat> that's all the sort of episode one titles available. We have just stuck, not that way, I've just been that way, they have just stuck Rebel Assault 2 on PS Plus, which I'm looking forward to getting into because that was another one of my favourite um, PlayStation games. So, okay, this is coming to the end of the level now. Um, there's Qui Gon. So, yeah, the controls are still the same, everything's still pretty much as I remember it. So, it's almost like it's not been 25 years. Um, and I'm quite amazed that I still remember where to go and what to do. I'm going to follow this round. I've got to press a button here that um, activates like a yeah that crate thing, whatever it is, and then bring the bridge over. Press this button. which then does something over that way it brings a lift up so then I've got to press this button again and move that thing across, back across and then, yeah hit this button which drops me down to the next level there's more battle droids on this bit what's around here? I can never remember Oh, don't go anywhere, it's just, that's a barrier. So yeah, you can, there's, you can see down there, there's some battle droids on a little um, platform. That's going to come up in a second. And we're going to get ambushed. And with them gone, in a second, there we go, with them gone, let's carry on to the end of the bridge. And take this platform in a second, take this platform down to the um, Trade Federation dropship and that is the end of that level um, that dropship's going to take us down to Naboo where the next part of the story takes place and for that we'll be using Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga. So I'll see you for... Thanks for joining. Hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you in part two.